Hey guys, in this video we're going to be migrating a VM from VMware over to Proxmox. Um, we don't have remote uh, shared storage, um, so we pretty much have to send it across the network, kind of like you would with VMware Converter, but VMware Converter doesn't work going to Proxmox. So in this instance, we're going to use Zilla, which works really well for this. So I've already got my AD test powered down. I'm just going to set it up so it'll boot off of the Clonezilla CD. So first I'm going to change this to Clonezilla. Select that. Make sure it's selected and connect at boot. Now I'm also going to go to the VM options, boot options. Right now it's EFI. I'm going to change it to BIOS. This just works better with uh, Clonezilla. And I'm also going to change it to boot into BIOS. That way we can check the starter order. But while we're doing this, before we get any further, let's create a VM in Proxmox for this. Just going to name the system. Going to tell it to use Clonezilla system. I'm going to leave these at the defaults for now and we'll change it once Windows is on there. So we're just going to go to disk and make sure that's set for the same size as your disk over in VMware. Oops. And let me change this to my correct data store. Two, two. Memory 4096 and network will leave as default. I'm going to right click on that VM and change its hardware. Sorry. So we're going to change the boot order, move the ISO up. We don't need the network boot. OK. And BIOS is default, so that's good. So this one's ready to go. The hard disk is 80 gigs. So let's go ahead and start up. Windows VM. This should be booting into Clonezilla. Okay. Just going to go over to boot and change the boot order. So this way we're going to boot off the CD ROM. This is not cooperating with me. So, right, set that one down. Go up. Set this one down. Okay, we're going to escape and save the changes. Yep. And it should boot into Clonezilla.
Okay, it's booted into Clonezilla, and we're gonna go with the first option. Just hit enter. All right, for all these menus, I'm just gonna hit English. Keep the default keyboard. Start Clonezilla. Okay, we are gonna be doing remote source because we're going to uh, clonezilla this over to another device. This is going a little slow because VMware is actually, the ESXi host is actually a VM in my Proxmox system. While it's doing this, I'm just going to, oh, there it goes. Okay. We can do beginner and accept the default options. Disk to remote disk, that's what we want to do. And we're going to use DHCP. And we're just going to take a note of this, the IP itself, and nine. And yes, I want that disk. If you had multiple disks, obviously you'd select them both. Gonna hit OK. And we're going to skip all the repair checks. Yep, we're going to use a partition table on source disk. And we're just going to set it to power off when it's done. OK. And just hit enter. 173. Letting it, it do its thing. We have to wait till we're prompted to start up the uh, secondary machine.
sorry, this is kind of slow again. This is ESXi running as a VM in Proxmox. So it's a little slow. Okay, it says waiting for the target machine to connect. So let's go over to our test system. We'll just go to options. Okay, our CD-ROM's ready. Go to hardware, just want to make sure that's ready. So let's go ahead and boot this. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. In English, keep the default. Start Chromezilla. Okay, this is the remote destination. DHCP. Okay, for this, I'm going to put 173. That's our source server. And we're going to restore disk. And we want this to be our target. This is the only hard drive on this system. And OK. It's just saying it's going to overwrite everything on the disk. Yes. Yes. All right, it's gonna start and we can see all our progress here. This is gonna take a bit, so I'm gonna pause it for now. Okay, it looks like it's about finished. Just waiting for it to give the final okay. Okay, it's all done. So if I go back to my host, it should be powering it off. Okay, it's, I need to remove the disk from the host. So I'm just going to edit Sassy. Press enter and it's shutting it down. Okay, so that VM shut down. Now I'm going to go over here, power this one off. And 
It's asking to remove the CD-ROM. I'll do the same here. Okay, since this is a Windows VM, we're going to edit the hardware of this. It's Windows 2022, so we're going to do EFI. We're going to add an EFI disk. Okay, so let's change everything around. Okay, so the machine, since it's Windows, you want to change it to Q35. SCSI controller, since it came over from VMware, I'm going to do VMware Better Virtual SCSI. Network, I'm going to change to VMware VMX Net3. And let's just look at the options. Boot order. I'm going to change the SCSI disk to the top. OK. And just double check everything. Default Q35 pair of virtual SCSI. Okay, everything looks good, so let's start it up. Okay, I see Windows. Sweet. So we're going to go here. Control Alt Delete. Now I'm going to add the drivers for. Um, Proxmox. So let's go to hardware. And you would consider this kind of like VMware tools, but okay, let's go back here. Load these. And I'll make it full screen. These are the Windows drivers. Oops. And install. Finish. One more thing you also want to load is the guest agent. Go ahead and start this. This will just report the IP of the system in Proxmox, kind of like uh, VMware shows it. Let's minimize this. Shut it down one more time. Mm 
then we're going to go to the options and and we're going to enable the guest agent this will just show the ip and the summary so let's go ahead and start it back up Whenever you enable that agent, you have to shut down the VM. It can't be a reboot. It's got to be shut down completely. Let's see what this is doing. So if I go to summary now, we should see the IP information. And that's it. We're good to go. Guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how bad I'm doing. Thanks. I appreciate it.